Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to Atlantica, home of the Little Mermaid. I created this princess Ariel look for you. It's very magical and ethereal and I wanted to do an avant-garde take on the Little Mermaid's look. Now if you guys are ready, let's jump into the tutorial. I don't see how a world that makes such wonderful things could be bad. I'm starting out this look by priming my skin with a hydrating primer and I'm just working that in with my fingertips. For my base, I'm applying a full coverage foundation and I'm just going to blend that out using a foundation brush. To add some coverage, I'm using a concealer under my eyes so we can look as rested as a Disney princess and I'm going to apply some of the concealer around the face for extra coverage. For a sun-kissed glow, I'm applying a liquid bronzer to the cheeks and the forehead, blending around the perimeter of my face. Then setting in that liquid bronzer with a powder bronzer, and this is a matte medium shade. I'm also going to bring that down the neck just to blend everything together. Apply a coral blush to the apples of the cheeks, and the apples are the roundest part of the cheek area. Instead of blocking out the brows with a glue stick, I'm just going to be using a bleach colored brow pomade to make those brows disappear. And I'm just filling in the brows with this product and then blending out with a spoolie. With a bit of concealer, I'm going to prime my eyes for eyeshadow. I'm dipping into an indigo blue cream color and I'm applying that onto the entire lid area. With a turquoise blue cream color, I'm going to start to blend over the brows and onto the forehead. Here I'm using a stippling sponge and the same turquoise blue shade, and I'm going to start to stipple around the forehead area and the brow area. Picking up a beautiful foil blue shadow, I'm going to place this color onto the center of my lid. And here I'm blending out with a fluffy brush and just bringing that into a wing shape. Dipping into a foiled turquoise blue shadow, I'm going to shade into the crease just to mesh those two blues together. Here I'm stippling on some indigo blue cream color in the same area we applied the lighter blue. Moving on to the lower lash line, I'm using a purple cream color and I'm just very messily creating a blown out look on that lower lash line, bringing that down onto the cheeks. And I'm using the stippling sponge to blend the edges of the purple and the stippling creates an avant-garde mermaid scale look. I'm applying an electric blue eyeliner into my waterline, then blending a foiled blue shadow over that and smoking out the lower lash line. With a duochrome green highlighter, I'm going to add some glow to the inner corners of the eyes. Picking up a foiled lavender shade, I'm going to add some glow to those purple areas of the face. I'm applying a deeper matte purple shadow to the lower lash line just to smoke everything out a little further. I'm using a purple duochrome highlighter to add some more glow to the skin, just applying to the cheekbones and to the center of the face. As you can see here, I'm going back and forth just stippling that darker blue and lighter blue cream color until I'm happy with the mermaid scale effect it's giving. For my favorite part, I'm applying some face and body adhesive, and then I'm adding in some scale effects by tapping on chunky purple iridescent glitter around my eyes. To bring back some definition into this look, I'm using a black eyeshadow on the lower lash line and the outer corners of the eyes. Now you can apply mascara and false lashes. To add even more glow to this look, I'm taking a champagne highlight and I'm dusting lightly to the center of my face and then all over the lower half of my face for a really wet, glistening look. Also adding a bit more highlight to my eyes. 
Now apply a red liquid lipstick. And this color is really reminiscent of Ariel's hair. To match the face with the body, I'm going to create a wet glow using powder highlight and also some glitter drops. For this look, I'm wearing a red wig, and this is a bit darker than Ariel's hair color for a twist on her look. And I did tease the wig out a bit and popped on some green contacts to complete the look. This is the avant-garde Ariel makeup look. I hope you loved it, and if you did, be sure you like this video and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.